Hello everyone, welcome to the Macquarie University webinar for cybersecurity about careers in the future for cybersecurity. My name is Rita and I'm a Macquarie University alumna in Sydney, Australia. I have with me today Professor Stephen McCombie, who teaches cybersecurity at Macquarie University. Um, today's webinar is to give you more information about what cybersecurity is about, what studying cybersecurity at Macquarie means, and what are the career options for you in the future after you graduate from our degrees. Um, to get it to, to get started today, we'll probably just have to ask Stephen to introduce yourself and let us know what got you into teaching at Macquarie University. Sure, thanks, Rita. Uh, yeah, so I've worked in cybersecurity for over 20 years. I uh, originally worked in law enforcement um, and was involved in you know, what used to call it computer crime back in the old days and was involved in setting up a unit in the New South Wales Police doing that. And from there, I actually went into private industry, uh, worked for IBM, which uh, sort of in those early days of cybersecurity doing a response, uh, set up a, what they call a CERT team, which is a computer emergency response team. Uh, and working on some of those early sort of breaches, from that ended up working in the banking industry for National Australian Bank and, and setting up something similar for them. That was a really interesting time in terms of the threat sort of really amped up. Uh, banks became uh, heavily targeted by criminal groups out of Eastern Europe using, using uh, the internet, you know, because it was a really big change. Uh, that made me think more about um, the, the nature of cybercrime and the people behind it and actually came back to Macquarie University and, and did my PhD actually on, on those cybercrime groups in computer science. Um, from that, uh, I worked uh, in, in consulting as well. Um, but I've sort of come back to the university uh, in, a, in a senior lecturer role uh, to teach postgraduate programs in cybersecurity. It's, it's a really interesting uh, job to do. Cybersecurity is such a dynamic area, uh, changes every day. Uh, one of the things I always do when I talk to students is, is you know, every, every week I show them you know, and all the different big news stories about cybersecurity, new things that are happening every week, and that's the nature of it. So that's how, that's how I like to come to it all. That sounds so interesting. You said you've been in the industry for a very long time. You yep. actually started going back into academia. So why has there been a rise in the demand for cybersecurity experts around the world these days? I, I think probably when I started out you know, 20, 25 years ago, um, the, the sort of threats we faced were, were relatively limited and organisations that employed specialists in cybersecurity were, were few. I mean, banks, I obviously work for banks some of the big IT companies uh, and, and certain parts of government. But, but that's dramatically changed. You know, it's not just cyber criminals we need to worry about now, but it's you know, nation states, um, you know, terrorist groups, you name it. Cyber, cyber is just a part of conflict and any conflict in the real world we're going to see in, in the internet. So, so all sorts of organisations uh, need cyber security people, you know, big and small um, you know, organisations that previously wouldn't even have thought about these sort of issues it's now really important and, and uh, so cybersecurity is a really important area for education and uh, building up the workforce. That, that sounds really, it's very needed um, field in the world these days. So what are the unique features that student will ex be exposed to when they study cybersecurity at Macquarie University? Yeah, Macquarie, we're sort of in a, sort of quite a unique setup uh, with our department of security studies and criminology where uh, some, some essentially a cybersecurity person, but I've, I've got a background in law enforcement, but uh, other people involved in our program are from intelligence background. Yeah. Others are from uh, from a counterterrorism background. Uh, with the people that are sort of experts on strategic studies, so understand sort of the geopolitical dimensions of cybersecurity. Um, uh, our criminologists understand you know, that sort of the nature of you know hacking motivations that sort of thing, and that's a really unusual setup. Usually, cybersecurity programs as a rule are set up in in computing areas, which you know, obviously, as I'm a computing person myself. I that's an important component, but it's only a small part of the picture. Whilst I think Macquarie, we're here to try and explain the problem more end to end and, and, and equip people to work in various different industries, not just in strictly technical roles where they're running systems, but actually where they're responding to uh, cyber attacks like, like my job used to be, whether they're analysing uh, threats for government or for organisations, whatever the role might be, whether they're developing government policy to respond to cyber threats. You know whatever it is. That sounds like a very comprehensive and very practical course as well, because you 
when we're analyzing real threats around around the world, yep. what's going on in the real world right now. Are there any practical components to that degree that students can can, can get access to? Yeah, so we do we, do, we try and uh, do a lot of practical work as possible. We, we, we run an internship, and uh, as interns in the program, we. we place with organisations uh, doing cyber security. We're also developing an uh, internal centre to do some work for industry um, run, run by academics. So, so out, of, out of our um, arts faculty building, we have our new facility there where we'll have interns working in there and have an opportunity to, to do projects for, um, you know, whether it be for government or for, um, for, for private organisations that want to better understand threats, you know, perhaps do some examination of data they might have, you know, some a practical exercise around understanding you know, what's happening in their environment, um, that type of thing. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And you mentioned a new facility yes. that you got got from the department. Yes, yeah, so, so the Faculty of Arts is, is uh, uh, getting a new building next year, and as yeah. part of that, we're having a, a dedicated space for cybersecurity. Where we rather run these sort of practical exercises out of and, and practical projects out of. Oh, is that an example of a past practical project you've run before that you could tell us more about? Yes, yeah, so basically, uh, what we did was for this year with, with a group of students was uh, we were involved in the Atlantic Council run a cyber strategy challenge in Canberra. Uh, uh, and we basically prepared a group of teams to go and attend that. So we went down to Canberra and we participated in that strategy challenge. So basically, uh, you know, run, run by the Atlantic Council, which does, you know, looks at, you know, global affairs and obviously very interested in cyber because it's becoming an important part of cyber affairs. And so groups were able to actually uh, perform in that exercise with a given uh, scenario um, that was developing over time involved a cyber attack on an oil industry, um, mm -hmm. ultimately uh, people being killed and having to respond to a nation state. So it was, it was a really great opportunity for the students to actually, you know, a real practical exercise. And then out of that, they uh, wrote up uh, uh, basically a guide, like a response guide about, you know, what are the appropriate responses for various cyber attacks for a nation state. You know? So, so there was a very practical component with it, but also this output project that helps us with our research and publications. That sounds really awesome. So what would you say are the very important technical and soft skills that cybersecurity experts need to have these days? Yeah, so I, mean, I think it's really important. One of the challenges in, in, in cybersecurity is that most decision makers don't really understand technology. Uh, and a lot of technologists don't necessarily understand you know, the, 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 challenge, the, the security challenges of the world, the, the, the nature of attacks from nation states and their motivations. So cybersecurity is all about you know, being the person that will be able to understand the technical complexities of what happened and put in, in layman's words, be able to explain it to decision makers and be able to explain options to those decision makers in, 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 in language they understand uh, but, with, but with an appreciation for the technical intricacies of what's going on. Mm. And, and would you say that the Macquarie degree will have units built in the structure of the degree to actually teach students those skills? Yeah, and, and we run a large cyber simulation exactly like that, Rick. It's all about, again, this was scenario based thing where we're looking at, okay, you've got you to brief uh, leaders, uh, decision makers, looking at complex, you know, you might be reading a complex incident response report with technical details, in, but actually put it into the right sort of language for a decision maker to, to make yep. decisions. Oh, that's awesome. So are there um, any areas of focus in cybersecurity that, that, that the degree has as well? Uh, f focus areas? So we sort of focus on a number of areas, but obviously we're very interested in the nature of uh, intelligence and, and, and cyber, yep. both in, in terms of how intelligence agencies use cyber to gather information, yep. but also how uh, in, intelligence can help defend against cyber attacks. So, mm -hmm. so that those two sides of it, it's sort of a unique area. Uh, and, you, and the reality is these days that people going into the intelligence field are often expected to have some sort of cyber ex exposure and experience, mm -hmm. which you know, perhaps you know, 20 years ago they, you know, they probably didn't. I think, I think it's, it's, it's just typical of the fact that people that are there to help describe threats that are happening need to have that cyber knowledge. Mm, awesome. So we have so many international students with us today. So when, when they do, do this degree, would you say that the content is um, a wide range of global issues? It's mostly Australian focus? It's pretty wide ranging yeah. as cyber security is obviously, you know, we, we like to talk about Australian cases that we can, but obviously uh, 
it, it's very globally focused. And that's the nature of cyber, you know, that things don't end up your border anymore. And that's, that's, the, that's the nature of the crime in cyberspace, it's the nature of nation states activity. You know, you know, the internet's borderless, you know, cyber's borderless, and that's, and that's something we need to understand. And that's, and that's one of the challenges too for, you know, for law enforcement is, is operating in that environment. And uh, in, in, indeed, you know, companies that are a subject of attacks from overseas, they need to understand they're not just worried about you know, social conditions in Australia. You know, they're going to be concerned about groups that might be in Eastern Europe or in Africa or in South America that, that may be motivated to commit crime. They can do it using the internet in Australia. Wow, the degree sounds so interesting to me right now. So besides tackling global issues, completing cyber simulations, um, analyzing and reporting on issues around the world, um, what other things are there that students could do to actually help them build a career in cybersecurity on campus? I think a uh, sort of opportunity to actually um, develop uh, you know, good communication skills and, and good technical skills around the types of threats that are out there, yep. a good understanding of what drives those threats, what, you know, what, are, what are the motivations of you know, cyber criminals, what are the motivations of nation states, what are the potential capabilities? What are the, what are the future threats? Well, you know, what, are, what are the potential threats in, you know, in the future? Like every, every day we look at, uh, you know, what technologies are coming out that could be, could be used uh, in cyber attacks. Wow, that's awesome. And, and, and how big are the classes at Macquarie University? So they probably range between, in, in the in postgraduate course between about 50 and 120. Yeah. Uh, and probably uh, of those about 60% are internal and 40% external. Oh, okay. And they have, how many class hours are there every week? Oh, how many class hours? So there are uh, two hours a week. Okay, so for, the, for one For unit. one for each unit, yeah. And then you'll probably be doing four units every semester, That's right. so about eight hours, Correct. contact hours Correct. in total. Then you have self-study hours as well yes. as based on each of the student individually. Yes. Awesome. Um, so in terms of after the students graduate, what are the career opportunities out there in cybersecurity? I mean, as I was saying, at, at the beginning, there's, there's actually a massive need for people trained in cybersecurity, and that's, that's uh, one of the great opportunities is the fact that, you know, unlike a lot of occupations, there's, there's a massive shortage in trained cybersecurity people, and there's a massive need, not just in government, but in, 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 in the corporate world, um, in fact, small organisations now in these cybersecurity teams. As I was saying, you know, in the old days, you know, 20 years ago, you know, it was you know, you had banks, and maybe some government, but now, like you know, every organisation, you know, might be a victim of intellectual property theft. You know, they might have you know, secrets. Even universities are targets of cyber attacks. We have a big cybersecurity team here, and uh, you know, you know, nation states come after universities. You know, people that want to steal research come after universities. That's just that's just an example. You know, you know before you know. 20 years ago, there wouldn't have even been a security person working at the university. So, and now there's a whole team. So, so, and that's and that's the case right across the board. So, there's lots of opportunities. And what we're trying to do is equip you for those sort of roles, not just teach you how to program or or teach you how to run a system, but actually give you the full uh, spectrum of cybersecurity, what you need to know, both in terms of professional skills. We have, we have courses that focus more on the professional activities you might be doing. One's focused on the threats, one's focused on how you use cyber for intelligence, that sort of thing. So in a way, you get the full range of skills to equip you across those different jobs. Wow, that's awesome. And if, if, if they don't want to go into industry, is an option to go into a Master of Research or a PhD pathway? That's right, yes. Obviously, we have, we're very, very keen to get good uh, students into our research program. And you know, currently have a lot of good students there. There's lots of really good research being done. And there's opportunities for you know for, for scholarships and, and other other financial support because obviously this is a really important area and, and the government and corporates are supporting research and so as I said there's lots of opportunities uh, you know we, we currently have quite a few students but there's there's opportunities for many more. Thank you so much, Steve. And one last no question: sure. What's your advice for future students studying cybersecurity at Macquarie University in Sydney, Australia? I, th I think you want to be a be an information sponge in terms of what's happening in cybersecurity. Like every day, there's something new happening. Uh, you know, read widely about what's going on. Um, open your mind. Don't be think. Don't think in too too narrowly. You got to understand a little bit of psychology. A bit of understand business. You need to understand criminology. You need to understand. Um, you know, Programming, you need to have a bit of understanding of everything. Uh, so, so have a very wide uh, 
understanding of these different things, read widely, uh, take every opportunity to, to when you see something in the, in the news, have a read of the story and understand what was going on. Uh, I think that's really important. But also sometimes if your background's in another area, you might be surprised how you might have some, some knowledge from that you can actually apply to cyber. Now, cyber it doesn't exist on its own. It's, it's just part of the rest of the world. So things that you might be dealing with in your, in your job today or whatever your discipline is today, they'll be reflected in cyber as well, and that's important. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Stephen, for no your worries. time today. It's been very helpful. And thank you so much, everyone, for going to our webinar today. We'll be sending our recording to your emails afterwards. And if you have any questions, please reply to our emails. We'll get back to you with the answers. Thank you so much and goodbye. Thanks.